Mike Henderson, Far East Income Limited. What does the trust do? In other words, w other words, what's its objective? Well, the whole idea of Henderson Far East Income is to try and capture the change uh, that's taking place in Asia in terms of dividends. So it's all about trying to get uh, uh, income and income upside from companies as they change and adopt a more progressive dividend culture. And how do you go about achieving this objective? What do you look for when investing in companies? Well, we look for two different types of companies. In, uh, firstly, we look for companies which have high and sustainable cash flows and obviously high and sustainable yields. So that's one half of the portfolio. The other half of the portfolio is the companies we expect to be high yielders within three years. So these are the companies where we, where we think that maybe the yield's quite low at the moment, but it will rise in the next three years. And this part of the portfolio, we try and hope to capture capital upside as a company announces the dividend uplift, the share price reacts to that. Obviously, we get, then get dividend growth uh, um, and capital upside as well. So the combination of those two, we think, leads to low uh, leads to a higher re total return. And what, how do you describe your investment style? Oh, very much value-driven. Um, we're, we're very much focused on not overpaying, because overpaying for, for income is as bad as overpaying for growth. You put capital at risk by doing that. So we're very conscious about how much we pay for the companies we own. Um, cash flow is king. Cash is what pays dividends, so we value a lot of the companies we do. Uh, we, we look at on cash flow analysis. Um, uh, and we're trying to find the companies where that cash flow is sustainable in the years to come. And are there any limits or restrictions on where you can invest? Um, no, there are no, no limits at all. Um, we have no predetermined sector or country allocation. Um, it's completely bottom up, pretty concentrated portfolio, only roughly 50 stocks, evenly weighted. Uh, and our, you know, those 50 stocks are what we consider to be the best opportunities in the region with no predetermined sector or country allocation. And how long would you typically hold a stock for? How long would you see a company grow? Historically, our, our average turnover is around about 60%, which suggests our holding period is uh, up to about two years. Um, but we don't have any predetermined uh, ideas on, on holding periods. We basically set a valuation point, and if that if that valuation point is reached within two months, then clearly you know, we'll be selling the stock because we think it's fully valued. Uh, but then again, if it takes three years to come to fruition, then, then so be it. So, but on average, it, it's just under two years. And finally, uh, is it just you or is it a, a team approach? Um, no, there's three of us now uh, looking at income. So th there's myself based here in London. Sat Dura, who's the deputy on Henderson Far East, is now based in Singapore. He went to Singapore at the end of January. Um, and he will be uh, obviously uh, based out there and travelling around the region more so than he did from here. Um, we have an analyst who's currently based in London, Tom Coombs. Um, he joined us back in May, uh, but he will also be going to Singapore in, in March this year. So there's the three of us, so the combination of, uh, of, uh, of those people all contribute to what we put into this fund. Thank you very much. Thanks.